here, Bibles and Barbells. We're going to look at uh, a couple updates or upgrades or additions I made to my runaway camper that I purchased last week. I know I did a couple of videos last week on it, uh, t this week, and I'm going to do a couple more to show what I put uh, inside of this camper. Um, one of the things I did was I went out to Home Depot and I scouted around for a toolbox that would fit in this area coming in the front door which is about 11 inches or 12 inches deep and uh, if I could show you that from here so I found a toolbox by Husky it's a 26 inch long toolbox and it's about 11 inches uh, wide and so it fits perfectly in this little spot here. And I built it out into a kit. And I'll, I'll show you what's in there uh, in another video. Um, that Nike lunch box on top is my um, dromedary bag with the shower attachment. Uh, just off to the right hand corner here is the Kelty jaunt. It's a shoulder bag and or a hip bag. And I packed that out. So that's kind of like a little kit that'll stay on this camper. A lot of this, all this stuff is going to stay on the camper. Uh, there you just see a pair of work gloves right by the door, so I have them handy. Uh, up top here on the top shelf, just above uh, the AC unit, uh, I have a pair of Tasco binoculars uh, that'll stay here. And there's a little lip here, so these things should stay pretty, pretty... Um, solid even when the tra trailers in transport uh, I've got a homemade first aid kit that I put together that I used to have in another pack I took it out and it fits up here on the shelf perfectly uh, you know without screwing anything into the walls or anything yet I have a little um, a light that's motion activated so when you get in at night you know that'll pop on and I could put that anywhere I want a couple bandanas a little press light, my Gerber knife that I've done a couple videos on that'll sit up here. Then I got my weather waterproof weather radio, two-way radio uh, up here with a charger, charging cradle and a plug. And of course I got five outlets here uh, that I could use for um, charging purposes. Uh, so that's uh, right along when you get into the camper those items are right there handy. Okay, so once you get in the camper, there's two little $3 mats from Home Depot that have a rubber backing on them. I put those, one under the toolbox, and then one when you get in here in case it's raining or your feet are muddy, you know, you could put your, take your shoes off and put them on those mats. I may get another one or two of them and just cover the rest of that carpet there on one side of the camper. There's my sleep system. Uh, I use, or I'm going to use, I use a Thermarest, Trail Rest, you know, a self-inflatable self mattress. I have videos on that. And I have a military sleep system. This is the one that you could, you know, put the green bag and the black bag inside. And the outside is like a Gore-Tex breathable bivy. Um, I like this system for this camper. You know, if it's hot, I just sleep on top of it. If it gets chilly out, I just keep the bag unzipped and, um, you know, I can get in it. I just have the green bag in this system. I don't need the black bag here in South Florida. So that's my sleep system, and that'll stay on here. And then in the back end of the camper, there's two uh, cushions that sit on top of a bench that goes across. And again, this bench is removable. You know, this bench comes up so I could take it out or push it up if I need more headroom or whatever. Back behind it, I got about six inches of space. I have a water jug. I'm going to try to get one a little bit bigger and see if I can fit something back there. I tried a Rhino jug and it just, just doesn't fit. Uh, I got to try to find something a little thinner. I got a nice heavy duty rubber, uh, almost like a gym pad you put gym equipment on. So that's, uh, I think that's about 10 feet or 8 feet long. Uh, keep that in here. I got a nice uh, El Salvadoran machete there. I have an axe inside I haven't put in yet. 
And then I found this box at, um, found this box, it's a Husky. It's one of those boxes that you put, uh, you know, tool, uh, excuse me, screws and nuts and bolts and stuff in. And what I did with it uh, for 12 bucks or whatever it was in Home in Home Depot, I uh, added, uh, oops, I added, uh, made it into a kit. And so I've got the compartments filled with, uh, you know, kit items that you'd put in, uh, say, a backpack or a go bag, hygiene items, water purification, uh, tarps, uh, miniature tarps, um, empty alcohol bottle, uh, I, um small wood burning foldable stove, a file, some gloves, matches, uh, little little uh, flat rolls of duct tape, a sewing kit, uh, um, paracord, a book light, uh, playing cards, um, fire tinder, um, there's a 10 round magazine for my 22 rifle, a uh, bunch of spare batteries, double A's, triple A's, nine volts, um, some military, like the Esbit tablets that you use in the military, um, a foldable Swedish stove, a little Altoid tin can, my flip video camera is right here, in case I wanted uh, something happened to my other camera, I could use that. And so it, it, one of the things I like about this little kit is, you know, number one, I could see through it, so I could see what I have in it, as you can see. And then it fits right behind the bench here. So, you know, that's right behind the chairs and it doesn't interfere with the cushions. So, I think that's a good addition. And then underneath here, I'll try to get a shot. You can see my thermorest kind of goes back here. And then underneath here, I have, um, oops, excuse me. Underneath here, I have another uh, sleeping bag rolled up in case I have another person come in. And they don't have a bag there's a spare bag and for the interior that's all I have uh, added as of now uh, we'll take a look at the outside all right the exterior job box I don't have dimensions on this I'll try to put that in another video but you know you could kind of see the campers you know four feet wide so you know, you're looking like a three foot job box a little smaller interior but the nice thing about it is it's got um, uh, cup holders here a little area here you can put a plate uh, you know some utensils so what I do is if I'm eating I just take one of my little beach chairs and I could sit you know and I've done this last night we had a storm roll in and I sat in the garage here and I just uh, had some coffee and some dessert and stuff and I just sat right on the end of this job box here and use it as a, a you know a makeshift table and it worked fine uh, I've got a little uh, lock on it or just a Ruger lock that came with one of my guns um, and what I'll, I would do is lock that when traveling and then zip zip tie this other one down just to keep the wind from blowing it up and then inside of it I'm not going to take everything out but I've got a seal line bag with some extra clothing knee pads toilet paper uh, socks, underwear, um, gloves. Uh, I've got uh, long matches, a shovel, some tools in these little husky bags that Home Depot sells. Um, tarps, you know, uh, painter's tarps. Uh, I have a bunch of um, extra large zip ties. I got these little cutting boards that you could prepare food on. I think there's like four of them in there. That go together. They're colored. Can't see too good here, but uh, and then underneath here I have some two trekking poles, a tarp with stakes and cordage, um, bungees, coffee cups, coffee cups with um, coffee and sugar and stuff inside of them. So I've got it ready. Uh, denatured alcohol is down there for my alcohol stove. Some alcohol wipes uh, to keep my hands clean and stuff sanitized. A little tin or aluminum fill, uh, funnel. And 
still working on this on what exactly to carry in it, but right now I just wanted to see how it packed out. A little shovel. Um, probably going to put a little military shovel on here as well. Um, but it packs out pretty good. And um, so far it's, uh, it'll, it has what I need in it. You know, once I go out, hopefully this weekend, and take it out and spend a couple nights out in the field, I'll be able to gauge better uh, what I need. But as of right now, it's pretty much uh, set up, and it's got a lot of uh, what I would need. I uh, just add some water and food, and uh, I'd be good to go. And just hook it up and pull away. So I'd like to get some comments from you guys on what things I should add. Uh, and looking forward to uh, comments and suggestions. It's Anthony signing off. Stay ready.